LCS is an open place. It's inviting. It invites people to come in and talk and learn and listen and be together. That's its gift. An academic witness to the love of God in the world. It is a place where you can um, ask questions of faith, of religion, of tradition, without sacrificing philosophical rigor or excellence um, one bit. So you can, you can do both, and you can do both well. ICS is inspiring and uh, relentless and um, undefeatable, and it's, it's, a, it's a hopeful, hopeful kind of uh, community. Communities become a buzzword. People love to call everything imaginable a community. My experience of ICS is that it was a real community. It was an academic community to be sure, but it, it really got people in, uh, in constant dialogical relationship with real concern for each other as well. And that's what makes for a real community. In other colleges and universities, you may find little pockets of that. But mostly what you find is students going around taking courses because they have to fulfill requirements. An academic community is not really the the game in the town. Uh, what, what's been striking for me about ICS is that for all this, pretty much all the students I've come across, it really is in that sense a, a community, not just taking courses to get credit and getting my dissertation done and so forth, but a, an authentic community. It's, it's very intimate. Uh, classes are very small. The academic community is very small. And that means that it's really, um, it, it really exists. Like there's no sort of dropping out of it, or there's, I mean, there are people who don't participate in every community, but um, it's really easy to feel like you're a part of things and feel on the line in a way and feel like uh, you, you can and should contribute and to feel like you can get something out of participation in that community. It's actually special because it's a place that people who would generally disagree, people who would not necessarily be together come come you know, into a similar space and actually create a hollow where things can happen. You know? The Institute is the realization of a dream world for students and faculty who want to have the space to develop their academic talents in the service of God. Well, we are we're sort of missionaries to academia. So the ICS is an impossible place happening in Toronto where uh, high-class education that honors the Lord is being done. ICS is an interdisciplinary institution that th thinks about the world and writes about the world in a way that is philosophically primed, so philosophical tools give us our, the analytic uh, vantage point from which we do our work and through which we do our work, but that is theologically literate, so in other words that is knowledgeable about what the Christian tradition, which has largely been articulated in theological terms over the 2,000 years of its existence. So it's theologically literate, it's in touch with how Christians have theorized about the world in the past, and is spiritually aware. So it's aware of the sort of dynamic of faith and is attuned to, or tries to be attuned to, you know, what the Holy Spirit is doing now and toward the future. So philosophically primed, theologically literate, spiritually aware.